My name is Jose Gonzalez. I'm an artist. I live in Los Angeles. For the past six years, I've been working in the film and entertainment industry. And what I found interesting was how vital illustration is in, in all aspects of the film and TV world, which was refreshing for me as an artist. In, in that path, I found myself in Warner Brothers Animation Department, uh, working around very talented visual artists. And that led to some freelance gigs with custom designers and other producers using my illustrations to help them tell their stories. It's such a trip to think that art has been a part of my life since I could remember. It was there when I needed it. It was there when I was embarrassed of it during those teenage years. It was there when I found myself alone, incarcerated, and I had no one to talk to. And it's with me today. Only now it's, it's like my superpower. It gets me into places that I just never thought I would ever get into. I, re I could remember as far back as I, kindergarten, when I used to bring home these drawings on construction paper, I would draw the ocean, and I would like lay a background on the ocean, you know, the floor, the water in some form. And from that spawned like me drawing ninjas in battle, army in battle. But then I don't know, as time went on, I started to really get drawn to drawing people and things. Um, mostly from comic books, because comic books was my teacher. You know, I didn't really have any I never had any formal training when it came to art. And it wasn't until when I went to jail that I started to like be sat down in the, so to speak, life sat me down and put me in a place where I guess my shuffling nature or my not still nature was focused back on to a pen or a pencil or a book, you know? I had no one technically supporting me, meaning someone outside who at the very least gave me a letter or Here's five dollars. Go find yourself something to eat if you can't. You know, I didn't have that. I just had what I what I had was my art. It allowed me to draw those collages again and tell those stories. So, when I say to someone who has to live like that under those perspectives of not being able to be or to speak or to express themselves under someone else's rule, I say that. There's two ways, you could butt heads, and you butt heads with the wall, you're not gonna win. But if you chip at the wall in little ways, eventually when the time comes, you could crack that wall and go through. I learned that it's better to let things out sometimes, no matter the consequences, but also you have to be smart about it because you can't just let go. You have to be strategic. Sometimes you have to let a little bit go. Sometimes you have to let a lot, but I feel at the end of the day, like the, 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 the commonality or the, or the thread that ties us all outside of us being artists in our own form or fashion is wanting to tell, wanting to tell someone like I'm here, wanting to tell someone that this is where I'm at and this is how I live. And I'm not trying to tell you it's right or wrong, but this is mine and this is how I feel and this is what I see. And if you don't allow yourself to do that, you implode.